Welcome back to Terraria Legendary Zenith Mood. It's time for the last boss. Not the final boss. That was the Moon Lord. Wrapping things up here. Getting all the relics and stuff. Empress of Light. This should be definitely something. Only time I ever fought Empress of Light was in a very similar state like this on the first regular world, where I just cut her in half with the zenith, basically. <laughs> or at least try to use magic here. At least try to do things roughly right. The whole idea here is a magic playthrough, but it's an idea. Let's see what we can accomplish here. First, we need to decide where we're gonna be fighting the Empress Flight. It's gonna be a hollow kind of situation. So maybe just go to the hollow here. Be easy enough. Let's also make the floor full floor here. Got some space here for getting down and fishing. That's all right. Get things set up here. All of our buffs and stuff. Looks like we're gonna need to place down heart lanterns here too. We got those. Our efforts to try to not use all the Heart Lanterns, kind of a mute point at this point. Because this is, like we said, the last boss. And now the question is, how can one get the thing we need here? Because we need to slay the Prismatic Lacewing. That should spawn on the surface hollow. This looks like surface hollow. Depends on what level we're at here. Down here is definitely surface ish. We're kind of higher up now. So here we're at 2238 caverns. And here we're at. 1590 still caverns. It's a question of how much caverning it really is. They're also too close to the NPCs here. In theory, we could start a spawn here. That's probably the best plan. Do I have a travel set for this yet? Almost. Do we need another crystal ball? That's from the wizard. Shot. I have a travel set for this. I already have a one of these here. That's fine. Um, where to put those? There you go. Travel war table. I guess I don't need a travel bewitching table. Since there's one already there. We'll just sell that for now. That should be fine. Okay. So with this we can... Set our spawn over here. That'll be good. Let's see. Enough space in here. Not particularly. Could move the rooms around a little bit. Let's try block over here. Door here. Big enough. Use the housing query here. This is a light source. There you go. Torch on the ground. You'd love to see it. Suitable for a wizard. There you go. Hollow prism. Still open the door. Perfect. Fun bed. War table. Bewitching table. Crystal ball. Oh, 
quality there. That was gold. Hmm. Alright, why, why are you out here? You can't be out here. I need to lock these guys in their rooms. I need to lock these guys in their rooms and make myself a way to get around them. Because they just love escaping and just going and sitting out in the arena, which is just, just not helpful, turns out. Kinda, kinda not what you want. Clay box. Starts there. I'll probably, in theory, they can go in there at night. This for me. So I can escape. Okay. Get a light in our room. I'll prism here. Okay. We can also move them further away from the arena. I think this should be enough space. It's a decent arena. Forty PM. How's the honey fishing quest looking? Nope. Shocking. <laughs> Go in your room. <laughs> the NPCs are really not the best, are they? It's kinda do nothing. Coming in? No. Nope. Well, let's go make it nighttime then. And with the amount of time we have left, we can just rest. Should be fine. Spawn point set. Once we can, I mean, we're gonna need to move the pylon over. That's what we can do. Because then it's gonna be no space to put the blocks stopping them. In theory, we might be able to not worry about that. Go. Put everything back down. Sleeping right next to a giant crystal pylon. Makes a lot of sense. Very good sleeping conditions. There. Yeah. Technically, things like blood moons and stuff could also happen. Which would be inconvenient. That's alright. So we're not seeing the prismatic lily swing. The idea is, I mean, we could also just capture the prismatic lily swing. And then be able to move it to the arena here. To spawn things and spawn the Empress of Light when we want to. That'd probably be a wise plan. I think we can go for that. Go grab the bug net again. Because it is a bug. That's okay. Alright, wizard. If this is not even your house. Your house is the next one. Y'all are wild. Y'all are wild. Okay. Yeah, having the spawn here. So we can quickly get back here. Just one movement. Oh yeah, everything done. Alright. Look at you. Getting trapped inside. Love it. Lovely. Okay. So we got the arena. We're ready to go. Let's go. And try to find ourselves. I press that place. Race this thing. Maybe even multiple, depending on how things go here. Numbers of Light is not a pushover by any means. Let's see what we can accomplish here. Go around them. Let's see if we need to go further down here. If we want to go through the caverns, we also have another option for that. Let's grab 
The drill containment unit. And that should do nicely. Let's get out of here. Oh, where's my clay swings? Somewhere. That's a soul light. Just, just immediately. Oh, it's gone now. Oh, it's up here. Is that you? Effective at breaking blocks. Not very effective at anything else. That's, that's a butterfly. Right here. I think I killed a guy. That's a failing. There's a gnome. Not quite. Let's continue moving around. Look at all this stuff. This is so quick and it's moving through things. You can also break all the different ores and things. It's crazy. It's wild. Alright. You can't fight though. It is a problem. Pros and cons, I suppose. Hey, that the that's the apple for spotting the unicorn mount. That's pretty neat. Not that we need that at this point, but there you go. Looks fun getting new things. It is slowed down by water here. Placement. That you? Yes. This shouldn't do damage. So it should be fine. Oh, there's a there's a hollow mimic. No thanks. <laughs> Prismatic lace wing. Moves are so delicate. You must be careful not to damage it. Yeah. Go. Put things away here. We really don't need this one butterfly here. <laughs> Get rid of that. Yeah, rideable unicorn mount. That's pretty neat. We don't have any floors here, do we? Close the floor is up top. See how quick the unicorn can go. Should be pretty quick. Sixty-one. That's not bad. It's no a hundred miles per hour with the minecart. It's definitely something. Cool, 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 cool. Right, we've done the digging we need for now. We'll keep the containment unit here for potential future use. That in the mounts box. Lovely stuff. Sell these things we don't need here. One butterfly. 30% bait power, huh? Huh, oh, that's not bad. The money way. Got all our potions. Major buff burger. 
Should be pretty good to go. Alright. Dip ourselves in the honey, so why not? In the hollow. We can also set up all of the other defensive stuff here. Put it right in the middle. Didn't end up using any of these during Duke Fish Run. Could have done. Yeah. Buffs. Addition. This. Full health. Lacely. Ow. Ow. <laughs> oh, wait. I think he's running away for a little bit here. Oh, that's a lot of magic happen. Ow. <laughs> okay. Empress of Light. Magical. And we're gonna, we're gonna need to find more lace wings now. I think we'd probably go for multiple, honestly. Ouch. Definitely not a pushover. Definitely not a pushover. Moving through here. Ooh, let's watch him for the rare spawns. I think a big hole here. Alter there. Just blast through anything. Not a large enough place for all this water to drain out, that'd be great. Oh. And then I can lace wing somewhere. There it is. Yep. Probably, probably gonna try to get a few of these. Hollow minute coming. Really can't, can't really do anything while we're in this. Dragon took care of it. <laughs> can't even heal all of this, my goodness. Pros and cons of the containment unit here. My goodness. Rare creatures. Contain. Ow. Let's do some regen here for a second. We don't have the regen set up here. Make we're close enough to go up there. Yeah, we are. There's the cozy fire in Heartland. Oh, yeah. Full regen we can have over right here. That's pretty good. Well, we do have the one lace wing. We can try again. It's gonna be a back and forth kind of situation here. We go get another lace wing and then try again. There's not a lace wing. There you go. Kind of bad. Set everything up. Alright. Buffs. Extra dragon. Magic. Wanna not worry about which direction we're attacking? Yeah, that's smart. Nebula time! Full health. Lace wing. Ow! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Aggressive. Okay. I think one thing we need to do here is have less platforms. That'd probably be good. Mm 
Let's do it. The question is, we get all of the buffs if we have them all at the bottom here. Let me just put one in the middle. One bass statue right here. Star bottle right here. Heart lantern right here. And also the campfires here. Defense, Star Bottle, Heart Lamp. I mean, I think that's because there's one here too. Get rid of all this. Alright. Looks like. We got the vast defense here. Three additional bottles at the top here. Let me make something of this work. No, oh, not quite that much. Oh my gosh. It doesn't place. It's incapable of placing. It's out of control, honestly. All it knows is dig. Fires at the top. We can fix the fire buffs now at the top by putting fire above. There you go. We got this whole above section here, which also works. In this corner, oh, it's over here. Then we just dropped off one of the buffs there. Oh. No bast in this corner. We can put a bast statue up above here. That work. Right back here. It's in the middle, to the sides, all the corners. Looking good. This will let us move around slightly more freely. Let's be regular flying here. And put up the torches we want. Which is, let's we'll do three, three lines. Okay. And then around here. There you go. That's slightly more lit up. Good enough. have ones in the middle here.
Good enough. Not that seeing Yempris is really the problem here. <laughs> it's the rest of it. The rest of it is the problem. Go and put some more stuff away here. There's our wood. Vile shard there. Put another one of those. Two. back out on a find another lace wing adventure just falling down a hole have a great time no great creatures it's kind of moving Searching. You're far enough away, things will despawn and then potentially respawn. In theory, this could work. There's a chest there. Yes, please. Just not the rare spot. Huh? Cycle Blaze Swing. Right there. Okay. The fire is not going to be quite as effective with only it being at the bottom here. In theory, it's good right there. How more burgers we got? Six. We're going to send low on endurance potions too. Oh boy. I think we, again, just focus on dodging for the most part. That's probably the best plan here. All of our stuff is on here we want. Yep. Okay. Buffs. Dragon. Release. The lace swing. Immediately get slammed into by the Empress. Aggressive. Magic. Oh, magic. Oh, magic. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Not going so well so far, is it? <laughs> Very aggressive. Alright, so we can find another lace wing. <laughs> So little time we can just use this same side here. Do we need to summon another one of these then? Buffs. Extra dragon. Beyond the attack we want. Open this box up again. Full health. Play sweet. I are you just immediately jumping right into me? Ludicrous. Here. Ah. Ah. 
Ah, there's a lot of magic happening. And the NPCs are dead. Great. <laughs> My goodness. My goodness. Ow. Hmm? We can't, if, if we move her to way, way above, it's a problem too. We can't come back here if we need. Having way more space to work with would be nice. But if we bring the Empress to the surface, it becomes enraged, which is not what we want. Would this room be better? Eh. Just having more space to move would be great. We can't go to the surface though, which honestly would be the, per would be the best spot. We can deal with the lace wing. It does despawn if you're too far out. We just need a full empty surface here to deal with. We could try teleporting shenanigans. So just be able to move further. So this tall. Where this one is. Wizard's back. That large. I want to get rid of more of the layers here too. It's a possibility. At least give it a shot. It's clearly, having this amount of space is not working out for us. We need more space for running away. <laughs> okay. Well, other guy will show up eventually. Let's go and get another least of here. Just having more space to be able to run away. Ah, oh, Blood Moon. Fantastic. Let's so skip the blood moon. Rare creatures. Hollow mimic. Yay. Hey. The hole stopped. <laughs> Defeated 14 hollow mimics. Well. Okay. Blood Moon. There's some benefit to just having the pillars up. It means no other events spawn. The rare creatures. Hollow Mimic again. Amazing. to leave. <laughs> this guy. Oh, you're a little lazy. How rude. How rude. You probably also want to go and grab the better healing potions. At least help somewhat. during a blood moon. Another potential wrench. Regular mimic. Where's our money? I think just hit this. Probably just don't want a couple lace wings here at least. Let's go grab a bunch of them. I wonder if they're 
just not spawning during the blood moon here. It'd be nice if the other guy showed up again. So we can teleport back here. <laughs> Rare creatures. It's probably gonna be a lot more of this. Oh. My play swing is Hallowed Mimic. I'm interested in the Hallowed Mimic. My play swing. Wait, wait. Not there. Mimic over here. No red creatures. Thing's gone. Alright. Oh, well, we'll keep looking, I guess. I'm just going to get some. We can try some more. Okay. Here we go. Set up the new travel base right here and have made a few changes to the arena here and by that I mean getting rid of literally everything there is no platforms to slow us down We're just free to fly to our hearts content here which is great try to get some magic stuff available there's not too many things spawning here. That's okay. A few buffs and stuff. Hello. I don't think I'm for us. Amazing. Alright. Setting things up here. In the middle. Let's see how far the rain will fall. Not quite all the way. Good to know. Set like here. That should rain a bit in here. Let's check there. Put the crystals in the middle ish here. I should do decently. They can hit from pretty far away, too. That's nice. Got the bass statues in the middle, and then the rest of it on the sides. So, should mostly have all the buffs going, no matter where we're flying around. That's fantastic. Buffs, dragon, hair, just this, and prismatic lace wing goes in the fire, because otherwise it'll just despawn. Just really? <laughs> Sprint him right at me. And you're aggressive. Don't do this. Magic! Ow. <laughs> magic. Honestly, the magic's kind of fine. It's the charging attacks that are the problem here, it seems. Which is not great. We got the super healing potions, 200 health. <laughs> if, if we could start the fight by not immediately losing half our health, that'd probably be a good plan. <laughs> you, th you think? Maybe that'd be something? Okay. <laughs> right, some magic stuff in the air. That helped slightly. Regen, ring. Probably not. I'm kind of trying to dodge some of the stuff here. Seemed pretty quick. I don't know how well the nebula's really doing. If we're trying to dodge, maybe the real plan is just do enough damage that's not an issue. <laughs> that's 
tell us an idea. Alright. Dragon. Last prism. Right. Slams right into me immediately. Every time. Empress. Have a light. Magic. How's that? Somehow. Oh, I got all that. Oh, yeah. I appreciate it. That's all that. Ah. Ah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it just blasts and seem to work. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Empress of Light. My goodness. Yeah, just, just a little bit of dodging helps quite a bit. Amazing. Alright, there you go. <laughs> Empress of Light defeated. Let's go. I mean, well, let's see what we get for the first one here. Right, home. Here. Put stuff in. Empress of Light treasure bag. We got the Intrepid Sword Insignia. Grants infinite wing and rocket boost flight. Increased flight and jump mobility. Infinite wing and rocket boot flight. Increased flight and jump mobility. Intrepid Soaring Insignia. I think it still needs to be having the wings on though. So it's like a extra thing. So infinite wing flight. That's pretty cool. And then a light class go summon damage for summoning stuff. This just gives infinite wings. That's pretty nice. The wings are so long though that in most situations just being able to fly around for quite a while is still pretty good. I got wings here. And now we're at wings. Yeah. <laughs> it just lasts a really long time. This is the summon damage one. That's pretty neat. Now we're really using summon damage right now. That's okay. Let me put that in a box here. This is or one of these. I can go in this box. And go place the Empress of Light Relic. That's the final relic right there. Technically there's also an extra challenge mode of the Empress of Light. If we brought to the top, like daytime Empress of Light. Which is a whole separate thing it does. Which is pretty pretty wild. There's slime here. Money. That we don't need for anything anymore. I mean, we got two more of these things here, so might as well. What if I was Zenith this time? Should be fun. Dragon, Zenith, Wasting. And we have nothing that's boosting the Zenith damage. It's just how wild this is in general. If we got like the improved. Insignia that does all types of damage. That would help with this. There we go. <laughs> I 
Emperor is defeated. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Grab our loot. Seven again. Probably wait for the health. But yeah, that, that's how easy it is with Zenith. Zenith is just cheat mode, basically. It is really great. It is really great. It's legendary Zenith on legendary Zenith. Love this stuff. A jewel of light. Some of the fear because it's revive light. Fun. Another relic. Another treasure bot. Bag, which we'll open once we're ready here. Magical. Magical stuff. And just all the swords. Wild. Absolutely wild. Alright. Potion sickness is complete. Nice way. It's here. Immediately getting hit. Some magic. Hey. He's up there. Dodging the magic. Failing to dodge the magic. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> totally counts. Totally counts. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> Worth it. All right. Yeah, if if I was gonna be doing more fights and things, I would have made a separate arena. But this one was large enough that we could just do that. Just, just be able to leave the area where all the magic was happening. That in itself is a pretty big win here. Okay. Put stuff away. Get this jewel. Magic. And two more treasure bags. Oh yeah. Get another outfit. Lean for is Prancile Cloak. A die. Very fun. Two more insignias. A light mask. Deadly Starlight. Oh. That is some that is some speed on that. <laughs> Very fast speed. You don't say. <laughs> That's fun. And anything else? Anything in this box? It is a night glow. Magic weapon. Very slow, speed, very weak knockback. Just a little, little bit of little magic guys spawns on you. Does a bit of damage. There you go. That's it. We defeated everything. Yep. Still no honey quest. Defeat every single boss in the game. Can't get a single quest to go get the honey. I mean, I think we did get one at one point, but it was before we could get the bucket or something like that. Then there's still chances for the honey, but we made do. And now we are done. All the relics, all the boss fights, all the best drops. Very cool. I don't think I would want to do medium or hardcore on this. Would maybe need to like drive it back down to just a regular world, not legendary on the Get Fixed Boy Zenith seed here. Well, that'll be something for. Perhaps later. And then there's also mods and stuff. But again, at some point later. And some other plans for very, very other things. We'll see how scheduling goes in the future and all that. But for right now, we have defeated everything on the legendary. Zenith mode, get fixed boy, seed. It's got a lot of names. It is legendary mode though. Which you can only get on this seed. Wild stuff. A few things to check here at the end. You the right person? 
Status of the world. Also doomed. 22% hollow. 63% corrupt. And 20% crimson. Things are grim indeed. That, that seems like a lot. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Ah. Uh, it is 105% corrupt. That's probably fine. And speaking of things that are fine. Doom was slain. Slain. 1,889 times. So, we we didn't die 1,900 times to do this. Well, only 1,889. Could we do it with zero? The answer is no. <laughs> That's hilarious. There will be one more video. A whole boss rush of all the different bosses in the order that we did them. So, that should be something interesting. Just see how we manage to win every single fight of wildly varying difficulties. But all pretty, pretty difficult. So, that is next, next. And then after that, something completely different. <laughs> so that's it. Really is. Goodbye.